you know, black people. No, no, you that know. Is, no, that is the black community is a safe space for abusers. It is what it is. This is not specifically about Chris Brown or Jill Scott, but you do reserve the right to be upset with Jill Scott. And you can take Chris Brown out of this and replace him with literally anybody. But specifically within our community, we foster a safe environment for abusers by doing things like that, like pivoting the conversation to highlight their positive attributes, even though a lot of the a lot of the things that they have been accused of has not changed. We allow them to get away with things for decades, depending on their level of power, influence, money, attractiveness, skill set, different things like that. Sometimes we hold secrets. We sweep things under the rug because we don't want other people to find out. We create a safe environment for them and we keep their secrets and we do this throughout generations and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And although you do reserve the right to be upset with Jill Scott, she's not doing anything that our grandmothers, grandfathers, uncles, aunties, all of these different people that came before us didn't do or don't still do. There are still some people who adjust themselves to accommodate abusers by telling their kids to go change out of clothes because they know that somebody who abuses kids is about to come over. These are things that we still do. And because we do things like this, we allow people to get away with things for literally decades. We see it unraveling right now with P. Diddy. Previously, it was R. Kelly, Harvey Weinstein, all these other people who we allow to get away with things for decades because we accommodate them.